Our next step is adding account linking to our Amazon Alexa skill. Head over to developer.amazon.com to get started. Click the sign in button and sign into your Amazon developer account. Once you sign in, hover over your Alexa console and click skills. Click into the smart lock skill. Now we'll want to scroll down and on the left side we'll see the tab for account linking. Inside of the account linking tab, we want to allow users to create an account or link an existing account with us. And then we want to also allow users to enable the skill without linking the account. We'll head back over to Auth0 and log in there. Once you've logged in, be sure to select the correct skill or the correct Auth0 application. And then show advanced settings. Head over to the Endpoints tab where you can copy the OAuth authorization URL. Paste that into the authorization URI and then copy the OAuth token URL and paste that into the access token URI. Now we need the client information. That's all the way up at the top where we can copy the client ID. For client secret, it'll be in the same place just below client ID. We can leave client authentication scheme the same and now we want to add in the same four scopes that we added in when we were modifying our Google action. Add in open ID and then underscore, not underscore for this one, offline underscore access for Alexa. Add in the third scope of profile and then the final scope of email. Now that we've added in our scopes, we need to add our domain list. Domain list is going to be CDN dot auth zero dot com. All right, all of the information looks good. Let's click save. Once you've saved, we want to copy the redirect URLs into the same place that we typed the Google redirect URL. Head back over to auth zero, scroll down to the allowed callbacks URLs, and then this is a comma separated list. So type a comma and then put in one of the next domains then copy the next redirect URL, put in a comma, and paste it, and then the same with the third one. Add in a comma, copy it, and paste it. Now that we've added our callback URLs, we want to save the changes. Once our changes are saved, we can move on to adding our code.